are Catholics and Christians the same? This is the question that we're gonna try to answer in this video. It's been a question of debate and confusion among many people. People often have no clue what is the difference between a Christian and a Catholic, and some Catholics don't even know the difference. Some Catholics would say, we're just like you. We claim to be Christian, we're Christians. And some Christians would say, Catholics are definitely not Christian. So I'm gonna speak directly to what Catholics teach, not what Catholics all believe. There's many Catholics watching this that say, I don't believe that, but again, I'm speaking to what does the Catholic Church teach? Just like there's many Christians that say, I don't believe this doctrine or that doctrine that Christianity teaches. So we're gonna to go to the belief system. An article on Catholicism I found stated, the number of Roman Catholics in the world is nearly 1.1 billion. It's greater than that of all other religious traditions. There are more Roman Catholics than all other Christians combined and more, more Roman Catholics than Buddhists and Hindus. Although there's more Muslims than Roman Catholics, the number of Roman Catholics is greater than that of the individual traditions of Shi and Sunni Islam. So there's a lot of Catholics in the world. We have a lot of Catholics that watch our content, that comment on our videos that are in our Discord. And I think it's important today in the video that we talk about the differences. And by the end of the video, I hope to answer, are Catholics and Christians the same? Now, this is not a list of every single difference between Christians and between Catholics, but some of the main ones, as I want to keep this video short and concise and give you a very clear answer. And I believe by the end of the video, it will be clear if there's a difference and if they're the same. Are they just the same as us? So let's jump into this. All right, let's start by difference number one, what Catholicism teaches versus what Christianity teaches. And the first topic is salvation. Christians believe that salvation is by faith alone in Christ alone. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 says, For by grace you've been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And Galatians will also make this very clear over and over that we are saved by faith, not by works. It is our faith that saves us, not our works. Works are the byproduct of salvation, not a means to earning salvation. They are the fruit of salvation, not the key to salvation, okay? Romans 5.1 says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 3.28 says, For we maintain that a person is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. So it's clear. We are justified and saved by faith, and that is the core to what Christians believe and what Christianity, Orthodox Christianity teaches when it comes to salvation. Catholicism teaches salvation is not by faith alone, but comes through baptism, good works, and remaining in a state of grace that would be remaining in good standing with the Catholic Church. Along, there must be participation in various sacraments, and to be justified, you don't just have faith, you have to do all these other elements. And the Canon 9 in the Council of Trent says, if anyone saith that by faith alone the impious is justified, let him be damned. So this is clear in the doctrine of Catholicism that you are not justified by faith alone, that if you say that, let, you be, let that person be damned, that there has to be more. And the can, uh, Canon 9, the Council of Trent, this was the response to the reformers when they declared that the Bible was stating that we are saved by faith alone. The Bible makes this explicitly clear. So to the Christian, faith alone. To the Catholic, it is faith plus works and remaining in a good standing with the Catholic Church. That's number one. Number two is baptism. Christians believe baptism is a symbolic act that demonstrates a person's faith in Christ and their identification with Christ in burial and resurrection. Baptism is not a saving act in itself, but baptism points to the saving work of Jesus Christ on the cross, and we should all get baptized after coming to the faith. This is what Peter preached in Acts 2.38, repent, be baptized, and receive the Holy Spirit. So baptism is important, and we believe that it is necessary, but it's not the saving act to where you're saved, and it's not a necessity to salvation. You can get saved and then die 20 minutes later and still be go to heaven, even if you're not baptized. And we saw that with the thief on the cross. We see that in the book of Acts as well. I have an entire video of that on the channel. Catholicism teaches that baptism, baptism cleanses from original sin and is a saving act. And this is why they baptize infants, because this baptism cleanses the infant of original sin. The Council of Trent, Trent teaches that the Ten Commandments are obligatory for Christians and that ju the justified man is still bound to keep them and all men may attain salvation through faith, baptism, and the observ observance of the commandments. So there's faith, baptism, and observing the commandments is how you are saved as well. And that's directly quote from the Council of Trent, which is their doctrine. And there's nowhere in the Bible 
where infants were baptized. There's nowhere in the Bible where babies are baptized. Orthodox Christianity, we do not teach or preach that there's baptism. Uh, we baptize infants or baptize babies. It is after you come to Christ, then you get baptized according to the book of Acts and the Bible. Number three difference, praying to the saints. Christians believe that prayer is an act of worship and we should only pray to God as instructed by Jesus in Matthew chapter six. Christians are never taught to pray to a deceased person and biblically it would be close to necromancy, which is communicating with the dead, which scripture prohibits. So there's no verse in the Bible that says pray to a saint, pray to a deceased person, pray to Mary. Christians do not pray to saints. We only pray to God. Catholicism teaches there's a great value in praying to deceased saints because they can intercede on God's behalf for us. Catholics also pray to Mary and other various saints. Some Catholics say, no, we don't, but their doctrine states in CCC 2679, and I quote, Mary is the perfect prayer, a figure of the church. When we pray to her, we are adhering with her to the plan of the Father who sends his son to save all men. Like the beloved disciple, we welcome Jesus' mother into our homes, for she has become the mother of all the living. We can pray with and to her. The prayer of the church is sustained by the prayer of Mary and united with it in hope. This is directly from CCC 2679. This is the doctrine of Catholicism. You can find it there. So any Catholic that says we don't practice or teach praying to saints, they don't know their own doctrine. They do teach praying to saints and specifically, we can pray to Mary and she'll go to her father. I mean, she'll go to her son, Jesus, on our behalf. Number four, the afterlife. Christians believe there's literally a heaven and hell. And when a Christian dies, he either goes to heaven with Christ for eternity or unbelievers go directly to a place of torment called hell. There's no middle ground. There's no waiting place. This is an immediate judgment based on who you put your faith in and how you lived your life. John 5, 24 says, truly, truly, I say to you, Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from, passed from death to life. So we believe you either go to heaven or you go to hell. Catholicism teaches that those who die that know God either go directly to heaven or a place called purgatory for further purification through pain. How long someone stays depends on many factors, including prayers and financial donations from people still alive. So Catholics believe that you can give money to get someone out of purgatory quicker, or you can pray for that person to get them out of purgatory. Oftentimes, Catholics will give money to get a deceased family out of purgatory. This is something Christians reject that we never see in scripture. They, uh, Catholics also believe if you're separated from God, you go directly to hell, which is something that Christians also believe. But again, we do not believe in purgatory. Okay, number five, confessing sin. Christians believe the only mediator between God and man is Jesus Christ, according to 1 Timothy 2.5. Catholics or Catholicism teaches you need to confess to a priest who has delegated power of absolution. So there will also be, you know, maybe giving required to canceling of sins. Forgiveness is not based on the atoning work of the cross alone, but also based on other works. So you need to confess your sin to the priest and the priest has delegated power to forgive you of your sins. And he may require some type of giving or some type of sacrament or some type of act to also forgive you of your sin, but it's not in Christ alone, which the Christian believes it is. Number six is view on the Bible. Christians believe there are 66 books, which are official canon of scripture. Catholics teach that there are 73 books as scripture, including books, which Christians refer to as the Apocrypha. So this is not only 66, there's extra books that the leaders of the Catholic church have des uh, designated as canon. Christians hold the authority of scripture much higher as Catholics do. So for us, scripture has a much higher level of authority than the Catholics. There's also many other differences like the priesthood, Catholic mass, transubstantiation, uh, the Pope. I mean, the list goes on and on. So in eight minutes here, let us answer the question, are Christians and Catholics the same? For just some of the points I described, the answer would be absolutely not. Christians and Catholics do not believe the same thing do not preach the same thing and they are not the same. And let me give this word to some Catholics that are watching that follow our ministry. Do not be a Catholic just because you are saved or a Catholic or you grew up in the Catholic church or you are a traditional Catholic because your family. Many Catholics you talk to, they don't practice, they don't go to church, they just say, oh, well, my mom or dad was Catholic. But I wanna challenge you, search the scripture, look for yourself and see if your belief contradicts a lot of what the Bible teaches and it does. A lot of what Catholics teach contradicts the 66 books of the Bible that we hold as scripture. So I hope this video 
help give you some of the differences between Catholics and Christians. They are not the same thing. There's a, there's a very big difference between them. If this video helped you, let me know down below. Comment what your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.